I'll show you how to get started with Vadin test pens. We'll go through how to take test pens into your project and how to write and run your first automated UI test. Here in Eclipse, I have a simple Vadin application built by the instructions in vadin.com slash tutorial. The project is a single module Maven project. I would like to implement my first automated UI test to this application, but first let's run the application and take a look at the application UI. I execute the JD run goal to deploy the application into an embedded JD server. The application itself is a simple customer list. You can filter the customer list, add new customers, edit and also delete them. Let's write our first UI test to it. Start by including the Vardin test pens dependency in your project POM XML file. I'm using here the currently latest alpha release. Remember to use the test scope as you don't want test pens deployed with your application. To run the tests, you need a license. You can buy a license from the test pens product page at vadin.com slash testpens. From the same place you can get a free trial license. After you have your license file, place it in your home directory. Now to the actual test. Testpens tests are written in Java classes extending testpens test case. Let's create a new class in the source test Java and call it my first IT. IT is a short for integration test. This naming convention is handy later when you want to separate your integration tests and unit tests. Extend testpens test case and create your class. First step in a test is to set up a driver. This controls the browser we want to use for testing. Let's write the setup method and use the JUnit annotation as before. Firefox driver works out of the box with testpens, so let's use that. You can get drivers for other browsers too. There's even a driver for testing without a browser. After the tests are run, we need to close the browser. Browser is closed in a teardown method, annotated with add after. Let's write our first test method. We'll make it simple. When a user clicks the add new customer button, the editor form should be shown. There are multiple ways to do the test, but let's do a simple version. First, we need to navigate to the application URL. Then we select and click the first button found by a caption and new customer. Finally, we make an assertion that the text field with caption email exists. As we have the application server already running, let's just run the test with JUnit. Our test case starts Firefox and the test method navigates to the application URL and performs the steps. And there you have it, all green. I hope this is enough for you to get started. You can get the sample code used in this video following the GitHub link in the video description.